Okay, so to preface this video, this is somewhat of a touchy subject I don't really talk about much, and I'm sure I might be made fun of for this video, or some people may take it the wrong way entirely. We'll see. I'll be giving away some major plot points in My Little Pony A New Generation, so keep that in mind. So one thing I didn't really talk about much in my review of the new My Little Pony movie were the morals taught in the story. The most obvious lesson is, having prejudice and judging others when you haven't even met them is bad. And the other thing is that it shows how much propaganda and misinformation can lead to chaos. But there is a hidden moral within, and that's that these ponies, in all of these forms, are victims. They aren't soulless beings that just take in information. And misinformation can come in many different forms. A corporation or force that tells you what to think? A royal family of rulers or news media? Or even your friends and neighbors that make you feel like an outsider if you don't comply with their beliefs and superstitions. This creates division, and with the ponies in the movie, they start off so divided that they have never even seen anyone from the other towns in who knows how long. All of this felt... shockingly familiar to me. For some context, over the past two years, we've been in this... uh... thing. You know what I'm talking about. And it's divided us more than ever, at least in my country. I don't like to get too into this kind of stuff on my channel because I mainly just want to talk about animated movies and shows and what I like. But this is just something that hit me in the heart that I couldn't just not talk about it. At least for a little bit. Over these past two years, I've become more jaded, more angry, and less empathetic. I stopped caring about what other people were doing with their lives. And I've regretfully thought very bleak things about some of those close to me. But I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't just turn a blind eye to my altruistic nature as a human being. I came to this revelation because of Sunny, the optimistic, determined main character of the movie. She is the only one in her town who is trying to change things. How does she do it? She does it by telling her fellow ponies that fear is not their friend and asks them aren't they tired of being scared. Earth Ponies of Maritime Bay, fear is not your friend. But the unicorns and pegasi can be. <sighs> Aren't you tired of being scared all the time? Something important here is that she isn't yelling at them, pointing blame, or anything like that. She's trying to start a conversation. All of the ponies in Maritime Bay are victims of the higher authority figures, and we see that later in the film. Phyllis, who has been the main figure telling the town what to think, wants her son Scout to head the sheriff's department, but it quickly gets out of control. Instead of telling the ponies to be afraid like Phyllis, Scout tells them to get angry. It's told in a very silly and over-the-top way, but the message is still there. As an individual with power, that individual can easily sway a mob of people from fear to anger. But there are also times that can backfire. In Zephyr Heights, once it's learned that the royal family can't fly, the ponies question who they can trust, when their authority figures have been lying to them for their whole lives, and they immediately shift blame on others. Pip used to be my favorite! If we can't trust our own royalty, who can we trust? I blame the unicorns and the earth ponies. They ruin everything. Then in Bridalwood, when it's revealed that Sunny and the others were disguised as unicorns, Sunny says they are there to help. But Alpha Bill refuses because of his prejudices. And later he's worried for Izzy because of his superstitions. I know it doesn't look like it, but we're here to help. Help? We don't need help. Especially from ponies like you! Izzy Moonbow, you're gonna get us all jinxed! These are all examples of how fear and distrust can come from all sorts of places. But despite all of these obstacles, Sunny doesn't give up trying to change minds. She believes that in order to bring ponies together again, that magic needs to exist once more. So when she fails, not once, but twice, she finally realizes it's the opposite. Ponies need to come together for magic to exist. Earlier throughout the film, you can start to see that ponies are sad. They want things to change. They want things to be different. They don't want to remain in a society where they have to be scared of others not like them. They don't want to have to fight. Seeing all of these cute little ponies with their faces full of concern gave me the realization that they are all victims, no matter what kind they are. And that gave me the epiphany that it's the same with us humans. For the past two years, there has been a lot of mistrust among families, friends, co-workers, neighbors, what have you. But as Sunny said, We can stay separated by fear and distrust, or we can choose friendship. We can choose love. 
I know that sounds pretty lame, but it's true. The only way things get better is if people come together and have those hard conversations with each other. Outwardly, the people you distrust may appear bitter and angry, but deep down, they're probably just scared and confused, just like those ponies were. I know it sounds very cheesy and saccharine to say that I learned how to have empathy again for those that have fallen victim to propaganda and misinformation because of a My Little Pony movie, but honestly, I think I would have kept going down that jaded, angry path if I didn't. And I just don't want to become that person. I may be naive thinking I could possibly change minds of those already firmly planted, but you gotta be hopeful sometimes, right? Again, I hope this video isn't taken the wrong way. Also, I'm intentionally being slightly vague so I can try to get through to some people without upsetting others. Anyway, I just wanted to share that revelation I had. I very rarely talk about stuff like this, so I hope you found it interesting and informative, and maybe you learned a little bit about empathy too. See ya!